boy. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's probably well into his 40s already. But how can we see big guys like this out here? Look at that. Yeah, he'd be, I'd say, 45, 48 in his prime. He's big, but he's not old and over the hill yet. He's in his peak. Physically, he is a monster. He would be a good six and a half tons. Also, eating marulas. I'm glad they've arrived. A couple of weeks ago, I was saying that, hoping that soon there'll be lots of elephants around here. This quarantine area, especially, got lots of big marula trees, and that makes it a popular feeding ground for the next couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of these guys. But just look at him. Isn't he magnificent? He's got his two Ascaris with him. His two younger bulls that hang around with the older bulls. He referred to them as Ascaris, which is the Swahili word, actually, East African language, for guards or protectors. And they keep him company. But just look at him. Big curve of a tusk. Massive head, elephant bulls, as they get older, the skull actually starts to grow faster. So yeah, I would say, like I said, this guy's probably, I'd put him between 45 and 50. Mmm, he's, he's just gorgeous. Shots as well with them against that background. Let's just quickly do a little look around this. It's actually Yuri's house, the owner. We're going to catch up with these elephants again very soon. Yeah, the garden looks like yeah. These all these big trees that we're looking at towards the sort of west and northwest at the moment, the beautiful skyline in the back. These are pretty much all of them marula trees. And statistically I guess you could say that one in two will have fruits. Marulas have got male and female trees with only the females bearing fruit. And this is what's attracting all this elephant attention. And if we're lucky we might have a good couple of weeks, one to two weeks of elephant activity around here. is a very beautiful place, nature, which is something down the line I'll talk about more, I'm not going to go into it too much now, nature is everywhere, even if you're standing in the middle of a busy club in New York or sitting where you might be now at home, wherever you might be, that's all nature. As humans we sometimes tend to think that we are beyond or above nature, we are as much part of it as these trees or those elephants or the baboons sleeping up in the trees tonight. We've just evolved a little bit more with our technology. But I guess wilderness areas, this kind of habitat, places where all creatures can still live the way they used to live. They are always magical. I'd love to go have one last look. Just at that big bull, we're going to have another look at him quickly. Also got a feeling there might be a bit of a meeting. Somali and her youngsters, these couple of bulls, they're walking toward each other. Maybe there's a bit of a good to see. But I want to have one more look at this big guy. And then we're going to continue on, see what else we can find out here tonight. <laughs> Actually, we might see something else that's interesting. Looks like they're feeding over the fence. Let's try and get some lights on them. Get a bit closer. again just look at him absolutely amazing 
Yeah, like I said, just to explain that fence, this is um, the owner of Juma's, Yuri and Pippa, and the two kids, Zoe and Rebecca. And they live just back there, they're not here at the moment, but um, the kind of things that lives around here. alarm calls in the background there, it's more within the herd, the impala's just making noise to each other. But just look at this guy's tusks. He's obviously broken that right one. He's also the age now where for the last five years or so of his life already, he'd be competing with other elephant bulls for mating opportunities. So that's where he would have broken that tusk. Look at that. Lots of marullas on the branches. Look at that. See those fruits, golf ball sized. Fantastic. Mm, I like this guy. Also, typically speaking, not always, but most of the time, elephant bulls, when they get to this age and this size, it's difficult. Hopefully, at some stage, one of these other bulls will stand close to him. But to, 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 you can sense it, but he's just incredibly bulky. When elephants get to their sort of mid-30s, they don't grow so much in height anymore. They don't get much taller, but they start getting bigger. The skulls get bigger, the tusks start growing faster than before. And the body itself starts muscling up. They get very, very bulky. The rump and the hind quarters get massive. And this guy's at that stage now. Not the tallest elephant I've ever seen. I'd say he's probably about 3 meters 40 or so at the shoulder. 3 meters 30 maybe. And it can get taller than him, but he's very bulky. He'd be a good 6.5 tons or so. Maybe even 7 tons at the most. Look at that eye. Hello, big guy. He's having a look at us as well. He's going to come and say hello, maybe. Mm, he's huge. Ah. <laughs> Elephants do find us a little bit curious sometimes just because this vehicle is slightly different. As you can see, just looking through the back here, you're looking across a lot of our equipment. And also there's a slight bit of noise coming from it. Sort of a buzzing from the equipment. And that's something that attracts their attention. So that's why he shook his head there. Just sort of asking us what we're about. You're a bit different from what I'm used to. And then we sit there nice and quiet and he's business again. To James. <laughs> Do a 360 here. Yeah, it's just going to getting quite far away from us. So I think we should go back to the water hole just for a bit. We're going to add our infrared camera onto this as well. And um, we'll see you back in a few minutes. It's been spectacular. Awesome, awesome elephant. And we might see a little bit more of them. See you back in a few minutes.